Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to remove the front wheel on a uh, 2015 Harley Street Glide Special. You'll have to uh, go through the process of, of wheel removal if you're going to replace the front tire. We did get a new Michelin Commander 2 front tire from Get Lowered Cycles and that's what uh, we're going to put on this bike. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we've got to take off both brake calipers and um, on, the, on the left side you've got your wheel speed sensor so that's going to come off as well. So we're just going to break these, these uh, two bolts loose right here and that will allow us to get the uh, caliper off on this side. Now I have lifted the bike up and I lifted up just enough to where the, the, the front wheel is t just touching the ground. It's going to make it easier to get off once we, uh, uh, once we get to that part. Once we get the, uh, the bolts out, that's going to allow us to remove our wheel speed sensor uh, bracket and also pull our, our, our brake caliper off. You can almost pull it straight down and then all you do is uh, I'm going to use a zip tie and we're just going to hang this off of our uh, engine guard to keep it out of the way. Okay, and then we're ready to go do the other side. Okay, once you get the uh, bolts out of the uh, right side caliper, do the same thing, just kind of drop it down and work it off real easy. One thing of, of note here is when you get the calipers off, do not uh, squeeze the front brake because it can push the, uh, the pistons out of this caliper. Actually, out of both calipers. And then just zip tie it onto your engine guard out of the way and now we're ready to uh, remove the front wheel. To get started with uh, removing the axle, you can just use a big screwdriver. You're going to put it through here. This is going to prevent the axle from spinning on you. Then you're going to put your, uh, your socket onto the uh, axle nut. And I'm going to just use a big breaker bar. And we're going to remove the axle nut and the washer on the left side first. There you go. That broke it loose. <clears throat> and now I can remove that axle nut completely. There's your axle nut and washer. Next we're going to remove the axle pinch nut screw on the right side and uh, we're not going to take it out, we're just going to loosen it. That's going to allow us to uh, remove the axle. I'm trying to do this kind of weird so I can keep the camera on it. There we go. If you don't know which side, there are some spacers on both sides and if you just don't want to forget which side it goes on, you can just come in here and do an R if you want to and even an arrow to let you know to put it back towards the uh, that side towards the inside. So then we're just take a rubber hammer and we're going to slightly knock that axle out. <coughs> Once we get it to the point we can't knock it out anymore, you can use a wrench on this side and pull it out. And on the right side, see if I can see this, you're going to have your wheel speed sensor. So you're going to just move that off let it drop and then you're going to have your wheel spacer on the other side that comes out so Margaret's going to help me with this and she's going to just lift the bike by lifting the jack and then we're just going to roll the tire out a little more one more there we go and at this point our tire is ready to take in to our, our wheels ready to take in so we can have the new tire put on it Okay, we got our tire back, or our tire mounted onto our, our wheel. We take ours in to have it done at, a, at the dealership, our local dealership. Um, you know, that's your decision on how you want to get that done. Uh, next part of this is we're going to clean the axle. Uh, we're just going to take some paper towels right now, just wipe it off. Uh, then we're going to use a little bit of, I'm going to just use a little bit of brake cleaner, just a real light solvent here to get any of the, uh, you know, the hard residual on there that didn't come off real easy. Okay, and then we're also going to clean out the bearing bores and the bore inside of the uh, wheel. Just a little bit of, so I'm going to just use a little bit of brake cleaner on that. We're going to get that in there. I'm going to push it through so we can get all the way through there. So we'll just clean that up real good before we put the uh, anti seize lubricant in there. And then you have your spacer, so go ahead and uh, clean out the inside of your spacer as well. 
Okay, and also clean your fork where the uh, axle goes through on your forks, both sides. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and get prepared to uh, remount the wheel. So we still got it jacked up from when we uh, took it down. Uh, also make sure that you, you're putting it on the correct way uh, so that the, uh, the tread's proper when you uh, put it on. When you uh, look at the tire, there's gonna be an arrow and it's gonna say front and that's the direction that the tire rolls. So you're gonna wanna make sure you, you get that done properly. And we're just gonna roll it under there like that for right now and get ready to, uh, then we're gonna use our jack and we're gonna drop the bike down to the approximate level of where the uh, axle will go through the forks and back into the, the wheel. Okay, we're gonna try to drop the bike down now as, uh, as good as we can. Our jack's not real great. So I'm just gonna kind of tap it till we uh, rock it down to about the level where it's gonna go through the, uh, through the wheel and the uh, forks and it looks pretty good right there, all right? Okay, now we're gonna put some uh, anti-seize stick or lubricant, whatever type you like to use. We're gonna put it on the axle. It's just a light coating, it's nothing heavy, but I am gonna cover it. Okay, then we're gonna put some inside the spacer. And just put it on your finger and wipe it in there. Now I don't have the wheel all the way under there, so we're going to, uh, we're gonna take a little bit and we're gonna put it inside the bearing bore on both sides. Okay, now we're ready to put our axle in. Don't forget your spacer. I marked mine so I know exactly which way it came out. Put it in until the threads come out of the spacer so that it's ready to go into the bearing and the bearing bore. And I gotta lift up just a little bit to get it through the other side. Now, once you get the, the threads right before it comes out of the bearing on the other side, we have to put our wheel speed sensor on. So let's move over to that side. Okay, so this is your wheel speed sensor. Um, it does have a bushing on it and the bushing goes to the outside and the, it's kind of curved as you can see. So the curved part goes towards the outside of the fork. All right, so there's the axle right there. You, see, you can see I've got it just barely, barely sticking out. So we're gonna go ahead and put our wheel speed sensor in. And then we're gonna push our axle and we're going to push it through until it stops. And there we go. The wheel's back on. Okay, next we're going to put the uh, washer and the axle nut on. We're not going to tighten it this time. We just finger tighten it. Okay, now we got to adjust the wheel speed sensor. It's not really that much of an adjustment. What you're supposed to do is you rotate it until it hits the fork slider, until it touches it, and then you just back it off a little bit and that's the position that it stays in so it's not so that the tab that's on the uh, wheel speed sensor isn't touching the fork slider this is twinkie she uh she came in to see us working on the the bike <laughs> so anyway say hi to twinkie all right now we're going to tighten the axle nut so we need to keep the axle stationary so i'm going to put a long uh, screwdriver through the other side like we did when we took it off and then with using your service manual, my torque specs for mine are 70 to 75 foot pounds. So we're gonna tighten that. And also it might be easier to uh, lower the bike a little bit at this point when we do that so that the uh, steering head doesn't move. All right, so I lowered the bike just to put some weight on the front end. Makes it a little bit easier. There we go. Seventy-three foot-pounds. Okay, coming back to the right side of the bike, we're gonna we got to tighten the axle pinch screw, and this is tightened on my bike from according to my service manual, eighteen to twenty-two foot-pounds. So you'll need to refer to your service manual for these torque specifications for your particular bike. There you go. That's twenty pounds. Okay, next, we're, next part is we've got to install our brake calipers and our wheel speed sensor cable. Wheel speed sensor cable, it, it says, mine says ABS on it, and this is just to let you know that this is an ABS equipped bike. This doesn't have anything to do with the ABS itself. Um, when you put this on, you can see that it is uh, ribbed or notched. That, that indention goes to the inside of the, of, of the bike, okay? So make sure that you get that on correctly.
Okay, so as we, we had tied these with zip ties, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut my zip tie off. And we're going to easily slide our caliper back on over our disc brake. <clears throat> and it goes in the back. And then we're going to put our wheel speed sensor there. And we're going to put our caliper mounting screw on. And move our caliper around until that screw makes contact. And we're just going to finger tighten both of them at this point to, to get it on there and hold it on and we'll do a final torque here after we get it uh, somewhat secured with our hands. Like that. Okay. And on my bike, the torque spec is 28 to 38 foot-pounds for the caliper. That's 33 pounds. Okay, so the wheel speed sensor line is zip tied to the uh, brake line. And I happen to have one black zip tie left. So I'm going to put that on there. Flush cut it. All right, and the left side of the bike is complete. Okay, now we're going to put the right side caliper on. Um, one of the things you might want to do is make sure that your pads are pushed out against the bore. Makes it easier to get on the rotor. Go. Slide it on from the bottom and then scoot it up. Kind of move it around until you can get it, get it started. There we go. And now I'm going to hand tighten them like I always do before the final torque. Okay, we're going to go ahead and torque these down now. It's uh, 28 to 38 foot-pounds on my bike, 2015 FLHXS. Uh, just so you know, before somebody asks a question, no, you do not put Loctite on these. It is not in the service manual. It does not require it. That's 33 foot-pounds on both of them. All right, to complete the installation, uh, we need to compress those uh, brake pads up against the, uh, the brake disc. So we're going to come back up here and just pump the front brake. And you, you'll feel it get tighter as those uh, pistons move the brake pads in and uh, clamp. So there you go. And that completes the installation of the uh, front tire on a Harley Street Glide Special 2015. Okay, so that completes the removal and installation of a front wheel on a 2015 Street Glide Special. Um, we did get the tire. It's a Michelin Commander 2 from Get Lord Cycles. They can be found at GetLordCycles.com and uh, other parts and accessories can be found there as well. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel and also visit my blog at RideItWrenchIt.com.